don't buy that microphone just yet that you have in your Amazon cart because today I have a new microphone on the market by Five Fine. That's right, Five Fine has two new mics. One you're looking at, which is the Tank 3 by Five Fine. The other is the Ampligain AM6, an awesome RGB condenser microphone for gamers, streamers, podcasters, probably more suited for gamers. If you're in the market right now and you're looking for a microphone, you're eyeing that AM8 and you may be eyeing that K688 or maybe even anything from the Mono lineup because Mono has some nice microphones as well, then hold on just one second and take a look at this first. Let's jump into it. All right, here we are with the Ampligame AM6 cardioid condenser microphone this time around by Five Fine. Very, very new product at the time of posting this video. So, or you guys in the future, you're late. What? Instructions right off the top and right off the rip, we have a Five Fine all in one desktop condenser microphone for gamers that's right off the rip we have a swivel windscreen here and it comes off Ooh, a simple click on snap on and snap off like a headband right for all my girls out there who rock headbands and guys and dogs what the body of this mic feels 100 plastic this grate right here feels even plastic right there on the front plastic buttons uh plastic body full plastic the only thing that is metal taggies and gamers is this arm right here that holds the mic up and the base plate big knob that says game and chat so if you go all the way to your right that will be 100 chat and it will silence your game or your pc audio and if you switch all the way over to the left the game side that will silence your chat and you will only hear games so if you put it down the middle, obviously, you're going to get both game and chat. We have the mic gain control, which is a separate knob from the monitoring control, which is fantastic as well. So no buttons on this thing to click whatsoever. The mute button is on the top touch sensitive so not a button to click awesome sauce what else we get in the box with our awesome microphone we get USB-C right let's keep it modern USB-C I don't ever want to see anything less than USB-C this day and age to USB-A awesome and again if I find always provides nice and lengthy cables so pretty good just should reach my PC <laughs> across the street what it's time to take this bad boy for a drive and see what we get for our money <laughs> this is the microphone right here in your face take the gamers look how awesome this thing looks let's see what the audio sounds like coming out of the box all right take the gamers here we are with our awesome five fine ampli tank am6 this is the audio quality coming out of box usb so nothing to do plug and play lights up drivers get installed and it starts working right away now there are a couple of things to note. So one, I didn't mention that this has noise cancellation. I didn't even look at the buttons on the bottom during the unboxing. So my fault for that, I was moving a little fast, but looking down here at the bottom, you're gonna see that we have an RGB light to control our RGB settings here. And there are a plethora of RGB settings going on here. You can hear that click right and i know you can hear that noise in my background that's my hvac i have it going full blast with regards to the noise this microphone has a noise cancellation feature built into it for all my work from home people i guess if you wanted to cancel out some background noise when you're doing your uh, zoom meetings this has onboard noise cancellation let's go ahead and click on this noise reduction button to see what kind of noise we reduce one, two. I can kind of hear the noise a little bit and the distortion in my voice is surreal. My Lord, that has changed the audio quality 100%. Sounds pretty strong and harsh. This is the noise reduction quality via the software, right? Not the onboard hardware here. I can't hear it because I'm monitoring to the bottom of this microphone. So let me do some playback and see what that 
noise reduction sounds like. The noise suppression via OBS, via the software, is better than the hardware itself over the Firefly mic. All right, so let's go ahead and try a little bit of popping plosives to see how this can stand up against some, I guess, close range plosives first, blowing into it. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher. Pretty good. You have yourself a nice windscreen here, so it kind of mitigates a lot of that. And let's try some sibilance, some hissing. Caesar ate his salad with Superman in a sauna by the seashore. And it sounds good. Definitely, that hissing is serious. You can hear the whistliness of your S's, but let's go ahead and throw it off axis like that. Caesar ate his salad by the seashore with Susan in a sauna. Still hear a little bit of that whistly hissing. Let's type into a keyboard. Now, this is with no noise suppression. Plenty of noise, so no one is really gonna ever want a game like that. What does it sound like with the hardware button noise suppression? Wow, that's harsh. You can still hear it, and as I'm talking, eh, a little bit less noise. Let's try with the software filter. Here's a software filter. As I start talking, can you hear that noise of the keyboard? Lifting it up as if it's on a boom arm and not touching your table. So you get better noise, I guess, computation and understanding via the software versus what you get over the hardware noise reduction on this microphone. All right, Techs and Gamers, there you have it. The Fifine Amplitank AM6 microphone for gamers. This is for gamers and possibly work from home people who are in working from home, the work from home culture, as you can set a hardware-based noise suppression for your conference calls, your video conference calls. Yeah, I wouldn't go as far to say that it definitely not for singing or podcasting, the audio quality isn't on that level on that scale so it has fantastic pop filtering mitigation because of that windscreen so plus on the pop filtering the hissing is a little surreal on this it's pretty heavy so just be careful to not use s's in any of the words you say not you any word you a what how do you do that i do like the game and chat mix button you can use to switch between monitoring your chat and monitoring your game and monitoring both simultaneously. There is a nice click towards the middle of it when you get to that center so you don't have to look to know when you are at that 50% mark. The onboard mute button, touch sensitive, that's another plus. The RGB is, there's a plethora of it on here and that's very nice as well. So whatever you like in your RGB settings in your aesthetic this will accommodate that. It's a little loud. You hear that button clicking. I do like the knobs on the side. It's, it's fine. It actually stops when you get to the max. The noise suppression hardware button is a little too harsh for me. It kind of distorts your voice just a little too, a little too much. So it makes you sound a little robotic, which I guess it's fine if you're just gaming and you just want to talk and mitigate your air conditioning that's in your room then that's fine. But otherwise, I would prefer to use a software-based noise reduction like that built into OBS. That's my spiller on the Tech Toys and Gaming Show. Tech and Gamers, get yourself a little few bucks off of it, off of my affiliate link. So yeah, one hand washes the other. You save a few bucks. I get maybe like 50 cents off of that. What? Stood up here. Get over here. God. Oh, snap. Lit. Oh, she teleports? God, she's good. I'm glad she's my friend. I hope she's my friend. She's dope. Can we go out? My treat. Maybe. What? 